Hey guys, so it's Monday and I kind of lost my voice a little bit over um, the past week, so that's the reason why I sound like this. Uh, yes, you can make fun of me. It's okay. All my friends have. I don't know why I've been, I kind of got it back this morning and I sounded better, but I had my, my iced tea, which I've been having the whole week. And I just, I don't know, I drank it, and now I sound like this, so. Yay for no voice. <coughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna really try and do this in um <clears throat> segments, because I just don't have the energy today. It's just way too hot. It's 86 in Boston, and this is like, it was 95 yesterday. I really thought I was going to like have a heat stroke. It was so hot. Oh my god. I had every single window in my car open when I was driving. And I had the AC on whenever the windows were closed. I thought I was going to die. But anyways, um, challenge of this week was to, um, what's our favorite subject in school? And I would have to say math. It's kind of, that was a nice little gush of wind. Anyways, um, my favorite subject is math because, um, I don't know, it's kind of nerdy, but that's, like, me, so I just like math in general because I just find it interesting. It always has just one solid answer, not, like, a bajillion other ones that can be in, like, English, so, yeah. But, um, I guess a funny story that goes with it is that, um, it actually happened this year, um... Well, a couple of months ago. So I, we have, my school has weird scheduling. So, um, it was like a day four. And on my day four, I have a A, B, C, D, D period first. So it went D, E, F, G, A, B. And that's during my lunch block. It's either you have lunch that period or you have that class. And I thought I had lunch first but I really had math first. So instead of going to math for the first half hour of the class, I went to lunch. And when I went in to go into my math class, I saw that everyone was there, and I really was just too embarrassed to go in. So I went into the guidance office, which is across the hall, and told my guidance counselor. And she's like, Kristen, you have to go to math class. It counts. So what she did, we and her, we were tag team. So she went into the math class, and I, like, swooped in behind her and sat in my seat. And the math teacher didn't even notice. And then after the class, I told him, did I miss anything at the beginning of the class because I wasn't actually here? And he's like, oh, I marked you as being here because you're never, ever not in school. You haven't had a sick day in, like, four years. So I didn't even go to math class, and the teacher still marked me as here. So, uh pretty awesome. But uh, I guess that's a perk of going to a small school. They kind of just assume you're there. And if you kind of always go to school, they just think you're there. But uh, yeah, that's my story. And um, I can't wait because I graduated. Uh, let's see, today's the third. 14, 13, 12, 8. I graduate in 11 days, guys. Oh, no, I don't graduate in 11 days. What am I talking about? My last day of school is in 11 days. My graduation is in 23 days. 23 days, so I'm no longer a high school student. It's kind of scary, yet exhilarating at the same time. And then 26 days until I go up to my campground, which I love, which is like my second home. So, yeah. Um, I think I just saw my cat over yonder in this vicinity, over, yeah, over there. So yeah, it's not, it's not there anymore. But, um, I really like how my hair looks when it flows. But, you know, the wind won't do that again because I actually care now. So yeah, um, oh, I, I want to ask you guys to do one thing in your videos. I know I can't really do this because it's kind of mean to do because I'm being specific and asking things, but can you, like, try to, um, give me an idea of what I should do to, like, get my voice to be normal and not retarded like it's sounding out? Oof, sorry if you don't like the word retarded. I, I say it all the time. 
um, weird like it is now. Like, um, I've tried tea and honey, and that didn't really work out for me. It just kind of tasted like tea and honey, and my voice was the same. I tried cough drops. That helped a little. That helps. And I tried coughing a lot. Actually, coughing a lot and cough drops have helped, even though they're kind of like opposites. They helped me a lot. And I've tried iced tea, because that's what my grandma told me to do, and that just made me lose my voice now. So, if you have anything for me to try, just tell me. So, yeah. Alright, bye guys. I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Mwah.